British pound plunged to a record low on Monday morning in Asia following last week's announcement by the new UK government that it would implement tax cuts and investment incentives to boost growth. Sterling briefly fell 4% to an all-time low of $1.03 on Monday in Asia. Analysts say those economic measures will disproportionately benefit the wealthy and could see the UK take on high levels of debt at a time of rising interest rates. Simultaneously, the US dollar index has been rising strongly this year as the Fed raises interest rates aggressively. For more on this now, let's go to Susanna Street, her investment analyst at Hargreaves Lansdowne in Bristol. Susanna, many thanks for being with us uh, this morning. First of all, can you help us make sense somewhat of this very strong reaction in currency markets in the UK? Well, the pound has been on a fresh uh, roller coaster track downward. And I think today's fall was sparked by comments made over the weekend by Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng, the UK finance minister, that there could be further tax cuts to come. And this spooked markets once again, because already the pound had been sliding dramatically on Friday. Now, the worry is that simply these historic tax cuts, the like of which we haven't seen for four decades, are simply unaffordable. Uh, not only will they uh, cause debt to balloon, uh, but also there are real worries that it could be inflationary, that it will be inflationary, because the government wants to promote growth. That means increasing uh, demand in the economy by giving people more money. But the Bank of England has to try and bring down inflation, so squeeze growth out. So they're kind of on a collision course uh, right now. And that's a set to cause a fresh fireworks, I think, in the weeks and months to come. Interesting, Susanna, what you say, essentially expanding fiscal policy at the same time, tightening monetary policy, very difficult to handle somewhat. Do you think because of this very strong reaction, the UK government may end up uh, reversing some of these measures? At the moment, that doesn't look likely. It looks like the government wants to ride out the storm. Mm. But certainly, if uh, sterling continues to decline, now it did reach, as you say, $1.03 early today, has made up a few of those losses, but there's still real downwards mm. uh, pressure overall, this real loss of confidence in the direction the government is taking. Um, so we'll just have to see what happens. Now, the Bank of England um, is set to intervene not due to meet uh, policymakers until November. There's rising speculation that the bank could actually um, come out with an emergency interest rate hike to try and uh, squeeze down these inflationary pressures. Uh, the problem is, of course, is that the weaker pound makes imports more expensive and so adds fuel to the flames of inflation. And uh, this could make government borrowing costs even more expensive um, because they're inflation linked. And so that means that around a quarter of government debt, if uh, they're linked to uh, inflation and inflation isn't brought down, it's going to make it even more pricey. So on one hand, the government wants to stimulate demand. And on the other, the Bank of England wants to pull the rug away from demand. So right. they're certainly not working together. Very clear dichotomy. All eyes will be on the Bank of England at this point. Many thanks, Susanna Streeter.